Hello everyone, it's Ben from the chair. Welcome to my new vlog. I've been trying to do this vlog all week, but I've been, I've been fitting all week, so I haven't been able to do it. Hopefully today I will. And it is Doctor Strange Day, so I'm wearing my Avengers t-shirt with Doctor Strange right there. So, I've got the 20 past 11 showing, and um, I'm going to go and see it. After that, I'm going to set up my new laptop, which helps me with YouTube, because phones can't do hyperlinks, so I can't link anything or timestamp anything on my phone, so... That will really help, and um, yeah, I'm gonna go see Doctor Strange: The Multiverse of Madness this morning, and <clears throat> I can't wait. Excuse me, and I'm just gonna eat my breakfast, and I'm gonna show you what my breakfast is because it's a little weird. I'll explain why. Yep, so this is my breakfast. This is a ham and cheese sandwich. The reason is my Kira made two yesterday by putting ham on both sides of the bread without having a, a piece of bread on the bottom. So we made a second sandwich, so this is it. The reason I'm having it for breakfast is because I really don't like warm ham and cheese because it goes all mushy and horrible. Uh, and obviously, I'm out this morning in the cinema with Doctor Strange, so by the time I eat, it'll be like 20 past 20 to 2, and I really don't want a warm sandwich. So having it for breakfast, I'm going to grab a sandwich while I'm out. So, you know, don't... You know, it's, it's only cheese and ham, which is basically bacon, in it? So... I've decided to eat it now, so I'm going to eat it now, and I've also got a coffee in my Harry Potter cup, um, either Kenko or, um, or Costa machine coffee, um, bought the machine in lockdown for 30 quid, which is usually 90 quid, the best thing I've ever made, so yeah, really pleased with that, so I'm going to eat my breakfast, and I'll see you guys when I get to the cinema. <clears throat> So I'm outside Sydney World, ready to go and see Doctor Strange. Can't wait. I'll give you a quick review when I get it, get out. And yeah, I can't wait to see us. We're outside. I won't film inside because of the music. I might film a little bit of the bit early, but you never know. So let's go in and see what Doctor Strange is like. So that's me back from the cinema then. I've seen the Multiverse of Madness, Doctor Strange, on Doctor Strange: The Multiverse of Madness, starring Benedict Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange. Uh, this is um, to, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch's uh, most best performance, I think, is Doctor Strange. This also stars um, Alex Otiti uh, 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 Gomez. Um, hope I haven't books, uh, botched her name too badly. Um, Benedict Wong as Wong. Christine, um, oh, that's not Christine, is it? Uh, Rachel McAdams as Christine Palmer. Um, Benedict Cumberbatch, uh, um, Doctor Strange's love interest. Um, she's back from the first film. Haven't seen her since, so she's back for the sequel. Um, we also have Elizabeth Olsen, Scarlet Witch. So, yeah, this film's pretty stacked with, with a cast. Um, basically, Doctor Strange has to protect um, um, Alexo, Alexo Chitty Gomez's character, um, America Gomez, um, from Scarlet Witch. That is all I'm going to say. Um, obviously, this film does go through multiple multiple multiver uh, multiverses um could they have done a bit more with that concept yeah was it a bit disappointing with the way it was hyped up who were we going to see who weren't going to see where were we going where were, where were we going to go hoping for the future possible i think they may have done but looking at it in the cold light of day i think the film's brilliant um it, it's a little bit scary so if you've got kind of young children it is a 12a this almost maybe be pushes it into almost maybe not being a 12a that's all i'm going to say so if you've got young kids that scare easily don't go see dr strange the multiverse of madness um elizabeth olsen's performance is top notch next to benedict coming back today absolutely still the the, the 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 movie the shirt the they steal it they are brilliant um you know Elizabeth Olsen you know this could be an a Oscar winning performance if this hadn't been done already but you know she's brilliant um I've kind of um questioned her acting ability before but um but not now that was brilliant Benedict um Wong plays Wong the High Sorceress as well he's back for another movie. Uh, no one's ever answered the question why he's in Eternals either, which I find strange. Fun, ha, ha, ha. Um, so, yeah, he's brilliant, kind of as the father figure for Doctor Strange because he's the high sorceress. Um, so, he's kind of the father figure type of person. 
Uh, so yeah, that's basically the main cast. Um, obviously, I'm leaving up certain things for spoiler reasons, which I will divulge later on. Uh, maybe in a couple of days, maybe a week's time when I've seen the film again. Um, it's is it? It's just about over two hours. It's 126 minutes, whatever that is. Um, um, yeah, there is a a after credit scene or two. Um, I don't think they are extraordinary ones. I've seen better. Um, I I like the film, but I was taken in by the hype train. If I hadn't been taken in by the hype train, I may have liked it a bit more. Um, I did prefer prefer um, 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 Spider Man, the last Spider Man. Um, is it what is it? No Way Home. Far from, I can't remember. I get confused which one's what. But the newest one, anyway. I, um, so I think it's No Way Home, isn't it? So yeah, I preferred that. I mean. If if they were shot the other way round or come out the other way around, this film may have been better because of what we got in Spider Man. But um, it's kind of a come down, but not this Doctor Strange movie because of Spider Man, because of things. Um, but yeah, if you agree with me, please leave a comment below. If you don't agree with me, leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys in the next clip. I hope I keep this as spoiler free as possible. Obviously, being you know, you can't talk about a movie without giving away some things, but some of this stuff I've said is in the trailer. So, and they were moaning last night that they may have given away too much in the trailers. So, I have been saying this for ages, but people give away too much in trailers. So, yeah, hopefully they might learn now. Um, also, I went into um, HMV whilst I was out, and I picked up something which I'll show you after dinner. Hopefully, finally, after dinner as well, I might be able to start my new laptop, which I've been trying to do all week, but thanks to epilepsy, I hadn't managed to. So, yeah, so I'll see you guys after dinner when I show you what I picked up from HMV. See you later. So, it's dinner time, everybody. I've got burgers and bubble and squeak, which look lovely. The bubble and squeak kind of look fresh from... I'm um, not quite sure where it's from. It may have been m and I think. So, burgers and bubble and sweet for dinner. I'm also watching the John Campier show um, today. So, that's what I'm watching whilst I'm eating my dinner. So, I like watching him. He's brilliant talking about movies and stuff. Um, so, I'll see you after dinner. I just thought I'd show you what my dinner is. Because I don't really feel much in the day. So, I thought I'd better do something. I'll show you my dinner and that's cool. See, this looks lovely before it gets cold. I better eat it because bubble and squeak and burgers get cold quite quickly. So, I'll probably see you in about 15 20 minutes, if not a bit more. Okay, see you in the next clip. So, this is also something I picked up today in HMV whilst I was seeing Doctor Strange, and it is the Jurassic Park um, box set, all three original trilogy movies. It's 44 quid. I, I know it's £39 on Amazon, but I just picked it up anyway. Um, so yeah, I'll be unboxing this tomorrow because it's late now. I need to edit the Monday Blue Hunt or Tuesday Blue Hunt because of the main quality. How many I did edit it together due to having many epileptic fixes this week. Sorry about that. Um, I need to also do April's um, uh, Blue Hunt um, monthly thing. I haven't done that either, so that's going to be coming in a couple of days over the weekend. Um, so yeah, um, that's just gonna quickly show you this not in detail, but there's no embossing or anything. There is a little bit of embossing up there, I think, but it's still sealed. But I'll unbox this tomorrow, um, when I add in the um, uh, blue Rahan type thing. So just I'll quickly show you this. So, yeah, so thank you everyone for joining me for my first vlog. Um, I think it's been a bit of a rough vlog day. I Forgot to film in the evening and stuff like that, but um, it seems to flow quite well. I've just looked back at the day, and hopefully you'll enjoy this shorter version of a vlog. Uh, in the coming weeks, when I've finished fitting, because I tend to fit for a week and then not fit for ages, and or two or three weeks and then not fit for ages. So hopefully, in the coming weeks, I will be able to watch more movies and um, do more stuff. Um, so the vlogs will be longer. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this vlog, and I'll see you guys tomorrow when I hopefully the May um, first week of May Blue Hunt together and April's together so hope you enjoy those two videos and I'll try and I won't vlog so much on Friday 
because I'm busy because I've got some stuff to do and a complaint to make so I won't be vlogging too much if at all so I'll probably see you guys on Saturday but I will try and um, edit the blu-ray hunts together and this week's glowing turning red and picking up um, an unboxing Jurassic World so I'll see you guys on Saturday for a vlog I hope you've enjoyed the talk. my first ever vlog today with Doctor Strange the Multiverse of Madness review as well Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!